Hello everybody and thank you for watching us once again. My name is Ivan, I'm the expert manager at Visa Diesel Generating Sets, the Italian leading manufacturer of diesel generators. I've been working for this company for about 22 years now and today we will take a look at one solution that we regularly offer to our clients of the oil sector. In fact, what these solutions consist of? Three units rated 1,250 kVA each, having a Cummins engine KTA 50 G3 coupled to a Stanford alternator PI 734A. All units are equipped with engine heater and battery charger, plus a motorized circuit breaker rated 2,000 amps. In fact, all these units mount a Comap IG200 module and will be synced together to supply energy to the oil site. The three gensets will be mounted inside three containers and will be located in a remote part of Russia to supply energy to an oil drilling plant. The two units will work synchronized and the third unit will be acting as redundant in case that one of the two main units will stop. This is to guarantee the maximum reliability and flexibility and safety to the site. In fact, these units are normally working 24-7 because no break of energy is allowed. So, we will introduce you today to the test of the three generators. We will test them as follows. We will apply 50% load, one shot, and then we will go to the 100% and 110% of the power of the set. We will test each generating set singularly, and then we will go and test them synchronized together, sharing the total load between the three units. So let's have a look to one of the units. We have a Cummins KTA series engine rated 1,250 amps, with a PI series Stanford alternator coupled together. Then we have got a 2000 amps motorized breaker ABB and the IG200 module by Coma for the synchronization between the units. Followed by four batteries Optima resistant to the low temperatures. In fact, these units will go to a remote site in Russia where temperatures can go down minus 40 Celsius. Plus, we mount a 900 liters fuel tank that will be subsequently connected to a fuel transfer pump to get the fuel directly from, from the bulk tank. And now with the help of one of my colleagues, Marzio, one of the site engineers, we will start the test of the gensets. So let's start the test. We will load the first genset with 800 kilowatt and then we will start the second genset and we will share the load between the first and the second. When all the load will be on the second genset, we will start the third genset and we will share the load between the second and the third. When all the load will be on the third, we will start again the first genset that originally now is without any load. We will switch from the third to the first the load and we'll share the power. And as a final, we will share the load, the total load between the three units. And now let's have a look. Let's put full load on the first set. With full load, we start the second jet set and share the load between the two. Now, let's start 
of the third gen set. Share the load between the, the second and the third. And now let's start the first gen set and share the load between the third and the first. So here we are outside, it's a sunny and beautiful day and here is our generating set terminated. So once the sets are tested, they get clean and they are put inside a 40 feet container and they go straight to Russia and installed by your technicians directly on site. So this is all for today, thank you very much from Ivan and from the, all these stuff. Please keep on following us on our social. Bye-bye. Thank you. Ciao.